Hi, this video is about SonarCube installation. So, to install SonarCube, at first we need to have Java and uh, a DBMS. So, these are the prerequisites for a SonarCube server. If you haven't, if you want to have a detailed account of prerequisites, you can look at this URL from the main SonarCube website. Here, they are in, in a very detailed format. So these are the databases it supports, and uh, these are the Java environments it supports. So here, I, for Java, I'll be going for Oracle GRE, and uh, for database, I'm going. F I will be using MySQL. So these are the prerequisites and uh, coming to the sonar cube installation steps at first we need to download the sonar cube package and then uh, we have to create a sonar cube database and a user account in sonar cube database and then uh, we have to edit sonar.properties file and then start the sonar service once we start the service we will have a sonar running sonar cube server Now let us look at the practical part of the installation. So our first step will be installing the prerequisites. I mean we have to satisfy the prerequisites for a successful SonarCube server. So the prerequisites are uh, having a Java environment and Java having Java and uh, I'm DBMS and um, in my case I will be using MySQL. And uh, this is the server where I'm going to install SonarCube. Let us look at its IP address. It is 192.168.61.126. I'm showing you the IP address because we will be using our IP address in our configuration files. So at first I will be installing Java. At first I will add the PPA repository for Java, Oracle Java. It is added. Let's update the machine. We have, uh, we have added the PPA repository for Java and we have updated our machine. Now let's install the Java package. We have to agree for the license. Press OK and then go for S. Our Java installation is done. Now with this command we are telling our machine our latest Java installation is the default Java for this machine. Now let us install the other part of our prerequisite that is DBMS. In my case I am going to use MySQL. Let us look at what kind of version we have to install. So we should either in have a 5.6 version of MySQL or else a 5.7 version of MySQL. To install the latest MySQL, to install the latest MySQL package, at first we need to download a package We need to download this package. Once we are done, we should install it. What this package does is it will add us the it will add the latest repository of MySQL to our machine. It is done. Let 
let us update our machine the update is done now let us install the mysql server package by using this command we can do that so send your password here re-enter your password So we have made our machine satisfy the prerequisites for our sonar cube installation. Let us create a database and user account for our sonar cube server. So let us log in into the MySQL server. this is using this command we are creating sonar cube database you can check it by the command show databases here you can see we have created the database with the name sonar now let's create the user account sonar so the user account name is sonar uh, and the password for the user account is sonar now let us assign permissions for this user so these are the privileges or permissions which we assign for this for the user sonar To update the permissions or to update the privileges within the database use the command flash privileges now they are updated to the database and let us exit from our database we have to edit our mysql configuration file We need to change the value of bind address to the IP address of our machine. You can see that is the IP address of our machine. Now let us download the sonar cube package. So by from this URL we can download the latest sonar cube package. As of making this video tutorial, the latest package of sonar cube, the latest version of sonar cube is 6.1. So by using this command you can download it. I won't download it as I have already done it. So you can see the package here. Now we have to e extract it. To extract it we need the command unzip uh, but I don't have the unzip command so as I don't have it I am installed in the package unzip. The installation of unzip is done. Now let's just extract the package. It is done. Now we have deprived the name of Sonar Cube hyphen six point one. So these are the contents of the Twitter screen. We will move the contents of this directory to slash opt sonar. 
so we have moved it successfully you can check it by moving to the directory so now and looking at the contents so it has moved so we are done with the sonar cube downloading and now we have to configure it properly for our sonar cube server to work properly so to let's have a look at the configuration file location where it is looked at so this is the configuration main configuration file for our sonar cube server sonar properties let's access it So these are the lines we need to uncomment and uh, assign proper values to access for our sonar cube server to access the database and uh, uncomment this as well. Change the local host to the IP address of the our machine. So these are the MySQL settings that we have made in our sonar.properties file for our sonar cube server to access the database. Now let's make the changes for our web server yeah here you can see do the IP address of our machine port 9000 which is default for sonar cube server if you want to change it uh, we can change it to some other value as well So we, if we want to change the web context, we can also change it like this, slash sonar. So these are our web server settings. Save them. And now let us start our sonar keep server. So we have started our sonar cube server. So you can see we need to restart our database as well. because uh, when we made the changes to the mysql configuration file we did not restart the my or reload the mysql service so unless we restart the configuration changes won't be updated to our system so we definitely have to make and then let us restart let us start the sonar keep server once again now if you look at the port numbers we can see our database is running on the port number 
and our sonar cube uh, server running on the port number 9000 now we can access our sonar cube server now we can access our sonar cube server from our web server sorry from our web browser 61.126.9000 slash sonar So you can see our sonar cube server running. You can log in to our sonar cube dashboard. The default username is admin and the default password is also admin. Click on login. And 